you lovely people out there on the internet, my name is Savannah and today I am bringing you a brand new video. For today's video, I am bringing you something that is long awaited, highly anticipated, and requested multiple times by you guys out there. Today I'm going to be discussing my top 10 personal favorite decks. This is based off the deck as a whole, the stock, the look, the handling and feel, every little thing under the sun about a deck overall compiled together. These are my top 10 favorite decks of all time. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on to the top 10. At number 10, we have the Stickman deck from Bicycle. Um, I really like this deck of cards mainly because it handles so well over time. It has a really cool theme um, and the tuck box looks very nice. And this deck is actually animated so that the little sword guys on the sides of the cards, they actually have a little sword fight. It is very cool. This is a 100% custom deck from the uh, court cards to the jokers to the back design. It handles beautifully. It handles so great over time. Definitely a cool pattern when you fan it. Definitely deserving of being this top 10 countdown. At number 9, we have the Bicycle 125 editions. These cards are very cool. They were to commemorate um, 125 years of bicycle playing cards being around. This is the blue version, but they have one in red. It looks very cool. Um, it has a standard, like, looking back design and all that good stuff. The cards themselves have a super vintage-y feel. Um, the pips and, like, the symbols and stuff, it's very similar to kind of, like, an Arco vibe. Um, but it is very nice, and it is probably one of the older decks I have in my collection that I've used continuously and continuously. It handles fantastic, even though I put a lot of wear and tear into the deck. And you can tell I put a lot of wear and tear into the deck because um, the coloration on the sides of the cards is a little different. It's not completely white anymore. It's kind of like a yellowish, grayish color. So you can tell I have definitely used the cards. Totally deserving of being on this countdown. Very awesome. Handles great. At number eight, we have the Medallions from Theory 11. This is a very intricately made deck, and it has um, that super um, luxe matte paper as a tuck box, which makes it feel super elegant. And the cards themselves are just, these are beautiful looking cards. Um, I think the tuck box looks absolutely fantastic, and the paper on it is awesome. But the overall design of this deck, from the back design to the jokers to everything, it's very well done, very well thought out. And then on top of that, the deck handles quite awesome. And it's definitely one of the better Theory 11 decks that Theory 11 has made in a while. One of my favorites. Um, I absolutely love the way the deck looks. The tuck box just feels so elegant and it just has such a a regal feel to it. I really do just like that about it. It is a quite an awesome deck. At number seven, we have the Madison White Rounders. This is a very minimalistically designed deck, as you can tell from the tuck box. But out of all like the rounders, dealers, hustlers, players, whatever, um, I have to say that this one is my favorite. I think this one handles honestly the best out of all of the Madison cards. Um, it is very durable. The stock, the finish is great. I think the overall look um, with the no borders, I think it's something very cool. I really like that about it. And it handles fantastic over time. It does uh, really awesome to wear and tear as I just shoot a card to the side. But it's just a great, awesome deck, a nice asset to your collection. And if you don't have any of the um, Madison line of decks, I would totally recommend this one if you're only going to choose one of the decks or the colors to get. I definitely would recommend the White Rounders. At number six, we have the um, Red Monarchs. Um, as well as the medallions, the Red Monarchs have that uh, Lux matte paper um, for the tuck box. Makes it feel super elegant, super regal. I just I love that about this deck, honestly. But the overall tuck box is exquisite with the embossing and the foil. Um, the feel of the tuck box is great, but the cards themselves are awesome as well. They have super thin borders as compared to the original Monarchs design. They look fantastic. Um, I think the red color really does pop off these cards. And as well as looking awesome, they handle great as well. A very nice handling deck. Love the thin borders. I really do like all aspects of this deck. I think it is a great deck and a great addition to your collection. I totally recommend getting um, the decks with the matte, the super matte Lux paper. Like it's just, it just feels so great on the box. Definitely an asset and makes the deck overall feel a lot nicer too. At number five, we have the V4 deck from Dan and Dave. Out of all of the, uh, um, 
Dan and Dave decks, Smoke and Mirrors decks, I would definitely have to say that this one is my favorite. I love the recycled paper, I love the green look of the deck, and out of all of them, I think this one honestly handles the best. It holds up a lot better than the V5s or the V6s, and it is green, and green is one of my favorite colors, so it's definitely an added plus that this deck is green. I think this is the best deck out of all the newer Smoke and Mirrors V4, V5s, V6s, because I think it really honestly just handles the best, but it also looks great. The back design, um, the court cards, the aces, all that good stuff. It's a very well-rounded deck. At number four, we have the original Jack Sellers in the green color. Out of all the Jack Sellers deck, I think this one um, has held up the best for me, and I personally like the color the best as well. It's a great tuck box look design that Theory 11 has created. I love the theme and the overall idea they were going with the deck. Um, I love the metallics they actually incorporated on the cards, and I like the 100% customness of the entire deck, from the court cards, the pips, to everything. I think it just looks fantastic. I think it was well themed, especially going with uh, the Jack Sellers Wine Company. But overall, Theory 11 makes their best decks when they make them for someone else. And this deck is um, definitely goes to show you that um, idea and concept. But this deck, out of all the decks, has handled the best for me out of the red Jack Sellers and the black Jack Sellers. I really personally just like this color the best. I think it looks cool. I think it overall is just the best of the Jack Sellers series. Definitely have to go with the original. At number three on the countdown, we have the Magic Con 2012 deck. Out of all the Magic Con decks, this is the coolest designed one. It incorporates all kinds of awesome colors and geometric patterns on the actual deck uh, itself and the back design. Um, it is a one-way back design, which is kind of a turn-off to some people. However, it is one of the most vibrantly coolest designed um, decks, especially with this overall geometric pattern they have on it, is awesome. And the core cards are like my favorite thing ever on here because they have like um, a tie dye like pattern in the background, which makes it awesome. And the pink and like dark purple they use are just exquisite on these cards. I think they look so awesome. And on top of it looking awesome and incorporating bunches of cool colors, it handles extremely well too. So that is a definite plus to this deck. I absolutely love this Magic Con deck. Um, it definitely is the best of the three. At number two on the countdown, we have the Bicycle Revision 1 playing cards. Um, a lot of people may not think that this deck looks the best because of the coloration and whatnot, but it is probably one of the best decks I have in my collection. It held up so well. It handles absolutely fantastic, and the overall design is something very cool. The deck is very different than what we see uh, today. I've never really seen another blueprint deck like this one, but it is awesomely designed and very cool, but it's one of the best handling decks in my collection. It has held up so well over time and a lot of wear and tear because I put a lot of use into this deck and you can definitely feel that when you actually get this deck in your hands, but I absolutely love it. It is one of the best handling decks I have in my collection and I just think it looks awesome design wise and handling wise. I just think it's a very cool deck and I personally really do love it. At number one, we have the Fulton's Chinatown playing cards from Dan and Dave. This is my all-time favorite deck because I think it is one of the coolest Fulton cards that they have designed, and it is also the best handling deck in my collection. The tug box itself is exquisite with lots of gold foil on it, um, but the cards on the inside are awesome as well. They have dragons on them. They're designed very cool by Brad Fulton. This is a super asset to your collection. It is one of the best handling decks I have ever had the opportunity to put in my hands. It is just handled so well over time. It looks fantastic as well as handling amazing. I put a lot of wear and tear into this deck and it is definitely held up and rang true to the fact that it doesn't degrade super easily and the stock and the finish last for a very, very long time. This deck is a definite testament to that. If you you do not have this deck. I know they don't sell it on Dan and Dave anymore, but if there's some way you can get your hands on at least one of these Chinatowns, uh, just to have the privilege of having such a good handling deck and a well-made and crafted deck in your hands is just awesome. I absolutely love this deck of cards and it is completely and totally deserving of its number one position on the top 10 countdown. So thank you guys so much for watching my personal top 
10 favorite decks of all time. You guys have requested and requested and requested this video so many times and I'm very excited and glad to give it to you guys today. It took a lot of compiling and figuring out to find these top 10. Um, I had to narrow it down a lot because I, a, I like a lot of decks, but these are definitely my top 10 right here. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, a like down below to let me know you guys like these kind of videos. Also, be sure to subscribe down below as well to be notified when my next deck review, unboxing, or other video like this is live. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about these decks right here, definitely leave that in the comment section below. As well, I'll have all the links to the deck reviews on these decks. Um, they will be located in the description box, and I definitely recommend checking out all the deck reviews for these decks. All my social media links are down below, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, definitely go and check all of those out. I love each and every single one of you guys watching this video, and definitely thank you guys so much again for watching, and please stay tuned for my next deck review, unboxing, or other video like this coming your way real soon.